Welcome to our Five on Five. Please be joined by Cynthia Ryder and Bill Rausch from the Oregon Shakespeare Festival. Of course, uh, Cynthia, the executive director, and Bill, the artistic director. Thank you both so much for being here today. Good oh, to see you. Lovely to see you. Good. Good. Thanks for thanks for being here. So we, we have a lot to cover, of course. And but, Bill, I want to start with you. Kind of, uh, how do you feel about the plays that you guys have, have uh, put out there this season? And, and looking ahead to next year, what are you excited about? You know, people keep grabbing me on the bricks at OSF or on the streets of Ashland, and saying this is the best season ever. And uh, that is music to the ears of an artistic director. We have so many shows we're proud of this year, and uh, a, lot, a lot we want to keep sharing with our local community. Yeah, and, and so the, is the season wrapping up this weekend? Is that right? Th this weekend, our three outdoor shows on okay. the Allen Elizabethan stage are closing Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night. We've still got some tickets available, so people should come down, Indeed. bundle up, and come down and watch these amazing outdoor productions. Yeah, beautiful weather, no smoke. Gorgeous. Absolutely. Great time. Tickets That's right. available. And then we've got two more weeks of all seven indoor shows. Uh, s spectacular productions that run through the very end of the month. I know you guys are always looking ahead for these kind of things. What about next season? What are you, what are you excited about? The 2019 lineup is uh, really amazing, I've got to say. it's uh, It's got, uh, of course, some really accessible, thrilling Shakespeare productions, and then new plays. Uh, the musical Hairspray oh. is going to be running all year long. Uh, some world premieres, very powerful stories. We've got a sequel to The Grapes of Wrath, called Mother Road that is going to run all year as a world premiere, uh, a, a piece called Cambodian Rock Band. <laughs> um, and the title just says so much right there. <laughs> yeah. um, that, that's going to be an absolute must-see play. So wow. it's, it's an amazing season. Excellent, excellent. Okay, and, and Cynthia, I want to talk about, uh, obviously, the smoke being a huge factor this summer. Um, was, it, was it $2 million in losses? Tell, tell, us about, tell us about how that's affected you guys and how that affects future plans. Yeah, OSF, like so many people all across Southern Oregon, people and businesses were affected by the smoke losses in terms of our outdoor performances that we moved indoors into a smaller venue at the Mountain Avenue Theater. Those performances were wonderful, but not as many people can fit there. So we know that we were affected by those losses um, in ticket sales and in people canceling trips. But also what we're thrilled about is that people are returning now this time of year. Mm -hmm. So we have an opportunity to make up some of those losses. And if I could say anything to people is to encourage um, your viewers to come see a play this season or go out to dinner or do some shopping. If we can make this the best fall ever, it will help all of us be more resilient for the future. Excellent. You guys are, uh, if I remember correctly, are you shifting next year's schedule or next summer schedule, I should say, to maybe plan ahead for smoke? We are. We're doing uh, several things. We're starting the season a little bit later and we're um, starting the outdoor Elizabethan season a week earlier so people oh. will have more of a chance before there's a real threat of any forest fires to see shows then. Okay, all right, well, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. We'll have much more in just a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Cynthia Ryder and Bill Rausch from the Oregon Shakespeare Festival. Uh, Bill, we, we reported it some time ago. You got, you're moving to New York next year in a little less than a year's time, taking over a very exciting position at, at the World Trade Center, correct? That's right. Wow, okay, so what are your goals for OSF before you leave? Well, look, when you are the artistic leader of an 83-year-old organization, you know always that you are a temporary steward, right? So my job in the years that I've been at OSF is how can I build on all the strengths of this incredible organization and set the organization up for success in the future. And uh, I just, next year will be the last season of plays that I will have programmed. And I just want it to be the most extraordinary art we've ever produced uh, with the most amazing stories that audiences will love and uh, our local audiences from throughout the valley and people coming in from out of town. And uh, I, I want to continue to fundraise for the company and leave the company as strong as I possibly can. Sure, that's excellent. Okay, and, and Cynthia, we, we, I think it's been a week since we reported the, the layoffs at, at OSF. How many exactly were there and, and do we expect any more? Uh, we don't expect any more right now. Uh, you know, we had to make some really difficult decisions and some of our most beloved colleagues, um, we had to cut those positions and we're going to really miss them um, throughout the organization, though that's really hard. But we knew we had to make some decisions in the wake of financial losses to really sustain and be responsible stewards, as Bill said, for the organization. So um, we made that decision and we're moving forward. Um, and we have such a strong company. Hundreds and hundreds of people work at the Oregon Shakespeare Festival. Wow. And they're, they are as dedicated and passionate as ever while we're also honoring those people in their tenure of service at OSF. 
Okay, and, and Bill, I'm curious, as artistic director, what do you love most about your job? Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, Try and do that in 30 seconds, Yeah, right? right? I mean, there's, there's so many things that I could go for hours, but I will say, honestly, the passion of the audience for the work, the number of times that local people will tell me they've seen a favorite show five, six, 12 times, wow. the, just the, the, the connection that people feel to the work on stage, to the acting company, and uh, it's just one of the most engaged audiences of any theater anywhere in the world. So that's going to be what I named today as okay. my favorite. Okay, it's a tough, tough question, I understand. It is a tough question. Yeah, it's tough to yes. you can't yes. sit here all day and talk about it, uh, as you said. And Cynthia, what about you? What do you love most about your job? Well, I certainly love, um, that same thing about the audience. This morning I walked in and there were hundreds of high school kids on the bricks getting ready and going into a workshop. And there's so many elements of our audience that make it so vital. But I think that's one of them is how many tens of thousands of young people come and see theater and do workshops. And you know, our demographic for our matinees, and we do matinees Tuesday through Sunday at the Oregon Shakespeare Festival, our oldest audience members and our youngest audience members are together seeing those shows. And that that, um, that variety, diversity in our mm -hmm. audience, and those young people love being here, um, and I think it just lifts all of our spirits. So I'm thinking of that this morning, having yeah. seen those hundreds of kids yeah. um, getting ready to see a show and going into a workshop with our incredible teaching artists. Yeah. So I love that about my job. Yeah, diversity of the audience, I like mm -hmm. that. Okay, and so uh, I'm curious, you, you talked about uh, a couple weeks left in the season, um, you, you talked about just coming to Ashland and going to a restaurant or something. How has the, you know, such a huge effect OSF has on the local economy. Can you, can you speak to that and, and how important you guys are? Uh, you know, we do drive a lot of the economy in Orsef, uh, 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 in Ashland and all across Southern Oregon. Um, tourism is a huge part of what makes this community work, but it's also the people who live and reside here that what I've seen um, already happening in the wake of these last several years of smoke, right, is this sense of community and that we are going to solve this together. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to. We're going to, OSF is going to be a partner in that. And I think that's, OSF is really a partner with so many other great things. OSF doesn't exist without the beautiful place we are. The, the wonderful restaurants and businesses are also why people come and mm -hmm. see plays. So it's really a very hand in glove relationship. Excellent. Good to see you. Thanks so much for taking the time. Thank for you us for today. having us. What a pleasure. Good to see you. Thank you very Fun. much. All right. Stay with us. We'll be right back.